Take us on a tour. What do we got here? Well, here we have what you would call Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. Now, what's this guy's name? His name is Stan. How did you know? He's got the broken cheekbone on the face and the knot on the back of your neck. And if you back up to over here, you can see right above that top crest of his head is broken, has a tooth mark through it. He got in the fight with another T-Rex and won. Since he's still <laughs> alive and his neck healed. Yep, yep. So where'd they find this guy? I don't remember. Dinosaur Ichi knows his T Rex fossils. I'm pretty sure it's uh, one that was in Montana. How about this? Right uh, here you have tri the Tricyclopods. <laughs> <laughs> Tricyclopods. That is funny. Triceratops. Oh, this is smokes. only a uh, medium sized adult. The oh. larger ones would be called Taurosaurus. Okay. The little ones over here. The. Uh, the ones we'll see in a minute? Yep. Those would be the juvenile, but they just added another name to it. This big guy above us here. Behemoth. Say, so, oh yeah. Supersaurus. Supersaurus. Check out the claws on this guy, huh? There's a source. This is their big uh, bird source. Okay, oh, I see. Yeah, I think this one's heavily feathered or something. He's got some heavy duty claws there. Must be for digging for stuff. This must be a juvenile there's in this one. Yeah, I thought the claws looked kind of small. Yeah. They found a really big one, didn't they? Yep. They got a claw about that long in the Dickinson Museum. Camarasaurus. What do we count? 13 uh, cervical vertebra? Uh, as far as I can tell. Yeah, 13. Super source. Yeah. Is this a Mosasaur? Is that what you guys figured? No, that might be the ichthyosaur. Okay. Well, no, that one's not. I think this. It's a pretty big. I think this one here is the ichthyosaur. Yeah. Yeah, that's. This is the no. I was so confused. That's a picture <laughs> of an ichthyosaur. I never had my swimming one oh, straight. Oh, right here. Is the ichthyosaur. Okay. Yeah. That's got to be a mosasaur, not. So it is. No, well, it's. It's. Well, it's got a different missing. shaped head on it, huh? This one's missing the end of the tail, and so is that one. Okay. What else do we got here? Tyrannodon up there, huh? Pretty good size. Elasmosaur is the name of that big guy with the. What is it? Elasmosaur from Morocco. Wicked. Well, over here we have the Protoceratops, the juvenile Triceratops, possibly. Let's go take a look at him. So what's the hypothesis on that, what would you say? Scientists have egos, and they like to name things. <laughs> Jack Horner said it pretty well. Yeah. So a lot of guys think the different ones are just different uh, stages of development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's possible. It explains uh, developmental bone growth and skull growth, how they uh, shape shift. Okay. And they'll actually grow and flatten out the different parts of the frill. Like, I don't know if that Triceratops has a flat frill over there. I think it does. But the smaller Protoceratops have uh, big, hard triangles on them. And those tend to flatten out as they get bigger. So what's your favorite one here, man? Yeah. Um, where was that one at? Oh, the Metrodon. Let's go look at him. Oh, yeah. This one, this little one. Yeah. I have to see it again. Here we 
have some sort of stegosaur, kentosaur type of uh, spiked armored dinosaur. Got ourselves a model of You don't like that too much. <laughs> and over here we have one of our early mammals. Oh, this is my favorite. Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon. Yeah. Like on Journey to the Center of the Earth, the old one, remember? Just a little guy, though. Not super huge. Yeah, when you look at them in the book when you're a little kid, you think they're a lot bigger sometimes. Well, this this is Permian? What is this? Permian. Interesting. Well, that's a pretty good little short tour, I guess. Thank you very much, Dennis Richa. Thank you.